guys welcome to my channel and to today's video so excited today and this is my first little video with my youtube plaque i can't believe i received it literally how amazing but yeah this is probably the most excited i've been about a little makeup collection like i'm such a harry potter fan i visit like universal the wizarding world of harry potter every year and yeah she glam have got they've got actually quite a lot of things i'm gonna do a separate video because they've got different bits like um like a lip like overnight sleeping mask they've also got four different um eyeshadow palettes for each of the houses but today we're gonna focus on these lip glosses i've only tried one of them because i wanted to kind of get a feel of what it's like but um yeah i'm gonna try all four of them on the video oh my god i don't know why i'm out of breath <laughs> but honestly the packaging for this is like in itself it's amazing so this is called the witching bruise lip gloss set and look at this it's like the potion class book how cool is this i actually cannot believe it this is amazing like i feel like i haven't seen many like videos and stuff about it as well but this is so exciting to me and i'm sure to other harry potter like makeup lovers as well and just wait until you see inside so you open it like a book oh my god look at that i'm sorry that literally looks amazing um so you've got four glosses here and they are quite cool like colors as well so we've got the polyjuice potion which is like a green glittery color that's the color i've tried so i'll put that one on first and then this side just kind of tells you what each lip gloss is i'm assuming they're all pretty much the same and then i haven't actually read the description of these but for example we've got liquid luck which is amortentia i believe i have to like i can't I, really remember what they say in the films but i believe they pronounce it like that this gloss will cause a powerful infatuation or even obsession for anyone who wears it so yeah i just feel like that's so fun like every single one will have a little like different description go ahead and read some of them out if you if you don't care about what they say then just skip ahead and the next one felix felicis everything you attempt will be deemed successful this gloss is specially brewed with thyme extract to nourish your lips with a spellbinding shine. Polyjuice says, although you might not be able to assume the form of another person, our Polyjuice potion inspired sparkling lip gloss adds the perfect dash of glitter to your glam. Then last one, we've got Draft of Living Death. I can't even remember that in the film. Is that called something else on the film? Is it draft or drought? I would say draft, so let's just go with that. But it says, inspired by the draft to live in death, 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 this high shine lip gloss is simple but powerful, contained with lavender extract, extract, I'm getting my words all mixed up. Our dra draft of living death gloss features a sweet floral aroma and a soothing formula for a bewitching glassy pout. How nice is that? I feel like, like this was honestly not expensive. I will go and find out. Like I can't remember off the top of my head because you know with Shein, like they take ages to ship. So I think I actually ordered this about two weeks ago. Um, but it wouldn't have been too expensive. And honestly, I feel like this would make such a nice gift for a little Harry Potter lover. Like it's not, like it's just four lip glosses at the end of the day. But I feel like the amount of like effort and detail into the um, packaging and stuff just makes for a perfect gift. Right, so first up, this is the Polyjuice Potion. And look at the colour of it. How pretty does that look? Like, I was worried this would actually come out green, but it just comes out quite clear. It does have a tiny, like, little hint of green. It's got a really funny little applicator as well, so I'm just going to unscrew. I've never seen an applicator like that before. It's kind of just like a plastic, like a bendy plastic end. I feel like I might have seen this in like a mag like a kid's gloss in a magazine when i was like eight but honestly since i've been an adult i've not seen that kind of applicator so that's really fun i'm just gonna go ahead and apply like can you see it kind of applies green but then as you blend it out oh this feels so nourishing honestly they're very thick though so if you don't like a thick gloss you might not like these but i feel like you buy buying this for the novelty really tastes a little bit limey and it also feels a little bit plumping i don't think it says that it's plumping but it does feel a tiny bit plumping but look at that i love that like it's not like you know really tacky or sticky but 
it just feels like quite a thick gloss but then that makes it feel very moisturizing um so yeah that's that one i really like this actually okay so next up we've got felix felicis i believe it's pronounced i mean i've actually watched these films so many times and i still don't know the pronunciations of stuff whoops I'll, I'll like next time i watch it i'll think and i'll be like oh yeah that's what that's called um but yeah just ignore me if i'm pronouncing stuff wrong this just looks like it reminds me actually of the fenty gloss oh i've actually got it to hand funnily enough they look quite similar don't they i feel like this looks a little bit more gold but let's go ahead and try this on love this as well like, imagine just getting this out of your bag you look like a right little harry potter fan um just gonna apply oh my god how nice is that i prefer this to the green one already i love when you can see it like really sparkly i just think it looks so nice oh my gosh i love this i prefer this to green for sure i feel like like i i wear a lot of neutral colors as well so like i always have like a brown liner or you know you know that like latte makeup that's trending at the moment i would say that is my go-to makeup style just very bronzy um so i feel like this really complements my makeup it doesn't feel tingly like the last one um doesn't have a particular smell either it feels very very again very rich and hydrating oh is that a hair it does perhaps maybe feel a little bit more sticky than the last one somehow like can you see it's just kind of maybe i applied a little bit too much i think because i love it so much i was getting carried away um so yeah just bear that in mind don't like over apply okay, next up we've got amortentia which is oh i'm just looking at it that looks is that sparkles or bubbles i don't know we'll find out it looked very red in the pack but now i've got it out it looks quite a light pink so i think this is gonna be like it looks pink in the tube i think it's gonna apply quite sheer but just have that like pink you know when the light hits it that's what i think it's gonna be like um i was gonna put a red lip liner on but i don't think i'm gonna have to because this looks lighter than i thought i'm just gonna apply yeah there's definitely no sparkles in this ones it was just like bubbles in the tube again feels very hydrating no smell oh i've just got that on my nose this is just a clear gloss feels super thick again i'm guessing these have all got the same consistency i'm going to apply less this time just so it doesn't stick and that's the color just clear but when i move it kind of catches you know it's a little bit pink um i feel like this would match most makeup looks this isn't my favorite i prefer the other two over this but i'm just like a sparkly girl i feel like you can just pop this on with any lip liner over the top of a lipstick and get that nice juicy shine that's what i love about these they're very very juicy um but yeah let's move on to our last one okay so last up again in the box i thought this was black this is the draft of death and it's this dark purplish color um again i feel like this is going to apply quite clear like the other one with just a hit of color i feel like this might be a little bit like the clinique black honey but we will see i think it will be a bit lighter than that it's really nice color in the tube actually like i wish it would be really that color on i thought that would be so cool let's go ahead and pop that on Oh, I feel like you can see a colour more in this one than the pink one. I really like this. This 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 is my third favourite. I still prefer the glitters, but I prefer it to the pink one. Um, but it's like got that really nice, you know, like kind of blackberry undertone. Very nice. I'm not like super keen on these applicators, by the way. I do prefer just a normal applicator, I think like they are cool like it looks very different it's definitely a different concept it's quite fun but um i just prefer a normal one personally but yeah that is that one okay so that is the video i did just quickly check my app so this whole collection is 13.49 and she always give discounts so i got discount which brought it down to 11 pounds 30 which 
is literally amazing like i said like if someone bought me this as a gift for christmas i'd be well happy like i, I think that's such a cool fun little gift um so yeah i hope that's helped i will do a different video reviewing the other bits but um yeah let me know like if you've tried any of it if you've got any questions then just let me know and yeah i'll see you in my next video